Lake and Riley's name has become a rallying cry for President-elect Trump in his focus on migrant crime in this country. Now the undocumented Venezuelan migrant found guilty and her murder has been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. As Christine Frizzell tells us, a gang he was believed to be part of appears to be expanding rapidly in this country. At 9.05 a.m. The final moments of 22-year-old Lake and Riley's life played out in a Georgia courtroom this week. Videos of Jose Ibarra, the undocumented migrant now found guilty in her murder, also shown. As an FBI agent detailed his movements that day. Removing the navy blue jacket and stuffing it into the recycling bin in his apartment complex. With signs of a struggle shown in the scratches on his arms. The trial also revealing Ibarra was given a taxpayer funded flight from New York to Georgia and his connection to the vicious Venezuelan gang, Train de Arangua. Videos like this of alleged gang members in Aurora, Colorado, just the beginning. The Department of Homeland Security now warning Train de Arangua is operating in at least 16 states. Tennessee just the latest to sound alarm bells and ask for additional funding to help fight the threat. Primarily right now we see them engaged in human trafficking and those, act, uh, those operations are happening in each of our large cities. The director of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says TDA, as they're known, has started to battle other gangs and cartels to try to take over the drug trade. They shot an individual, a cartel member, 31 times, uh, broad daylight, on video, and posted it to social media. There are growing signs this reality is expanding fast across the country. I am officially declaring TDA a foreign terrorist organization. Venezuela is one of four countries that's part of a parole program the Biden administration set up to reduce illegal crossings. And more than 100,000 migrants from Venezuela have been brought here as a result. Now, a DHS memo obtained by the New York Post warns, as the population of Venezuelan nationals continues to increase, the potential for violent TDA migrants is highly probable. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.